What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are going to be installing a mod plugin called Stop the Pet. It has been updated. Uh, it was updated 19 hours ago and we're going to look into this. I'm going to show you how to install it and we're going to go into game. I'm going to show you how exactly how everything works with this plugin. In my opinion, this is a must have plugin and you need to have it in your game to make things realistic. With that being said, everyone, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, let me make you guys aware of something. This is a very janky site, and what I mean by that is there's a lot of ads that pop up on this page, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it here in just a second. But this is Stop the Pad made by Bajojo. I always recommend that everyone read the descriptions. See what I mean, guys? You click on something, and it goes to another page. So scroll all the way down until you get to this little arrow right here. Now, when you click this, if you get another page like this, just close it out, click it again, and it will download, okay? You might have to do it a few times. You might have to click it, close out of pages, click it, close out of pages until it downloads, but it will eventually download. Once you've got it downloaded, go ahead and close out of this. Now, to run this plugin, you are going to need LSPFR first response, okay? If you do not have that installed, you need to go install it and come back to this video. If you're watching this video, you probably already have it installed. Now, let's locate our main game directories. All right, we're going to go right here. Epic users, you can follow right along with your main game directory. All you got to do is locate your main game directory. And I'm going to do mine like this right here. We're going to go to this PC. You're going to select the hard drive where you installed your GT5. You're going to go to Epic Games. And then your GT5 main directory should be right here. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is we're going to follow along. Epic users, follow along in your main directory. Okay. Because everything gets dropped in your main game directory. Once we're here, open up your Stop the Ped WinRAR. All right. And we're going to click on the Stop the Ped folder. You're going to grab the plugins and the Rage Native UI because this is a new one. We're going to grab both of these. We're going to pull them into our main game directory. And we're going to drop them in. And it's going to ask you to replace the files if you already have this installed. If you do not, it will not ask you to do this. Okay. So we're going to replace it. All right. And then we're going to close out of this. You can get rid of that shortcut. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our main game directory. You're going to go to plugins. You're going to go to LSPFR. And we're going to scroll down until we find that stop the pet INI file, which is right here. Your configuration setting for stop the pet. Open that up. All right. Let me close that. And we're going to get this up real big. And I'm going to show you exactly what to change in here. Okay. So pay very close attention. And I will show you exactly how to do this. Right here, guys, where it says shortcut key to pat down the stop pad, change that F10 to an F9, okay? Then the one below that for the key to police transport, change that 8 to a 9. These are hot keys. So what this means is when you hit F9 in the game, you will search the pad or the car that you're closest to automatically without having to pull up the menu. This right here automatically calls for transport. The D9 just simply means your 9 key on top of your keyboard. All right, we're going to go on down, and right here, now this right here, we can leave it alone, but this down here where it says controller button to open the context menu for pads and vehicles, um, you're going to highlight the A right here and change that to a capital N-O-N-E, all right? And then you want to highlight that word none and hit left control C, C is in Charles. Go below that, highlight that D-pad left and hit left control V, V is in Victor to paste that, okay? Let's go on down here. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Um, right here where it says shortcut and shortcut to grab pad, you don't need this on your controller. It's on your keyboard. So highlight that B and hit left control V. The one below that, highlight that and hit left control V. All right. And then down here, this is for controller users, button to tackle the player is chasing pursuit pad. Highlight that B and change it to a capital X. Okay, we want that capital X. Uh, the one below that for Sprint Boost button equals Y. Highlight that Y and change it to a capital A. All right, and I'll tell you exactly why we change those once we get into the game. All right, then we're going to scroll on down here. Right here where it says take control of all pads arrested by the LSP cop. You want this to set at yes. Make sure it's at yes. Uh, that way when the other cops, the other LSP of our cops, the AI cops, arrest pads, they don't leave them there with you. They'll automatically just take them to jail, Okay. So, I'm so glad he finally updated this, and I wish he would update the rest of his plugins. He might be currently working on that. Uh, let's go on down here, and let me just take a look here, because there might be some new stuff in the INI file that we need to look at. Um, right here, uh, for search result to be displayed always in full screen, highlight that yes, and change that 
to a no. Okay, what that does is if it's set to yes, we, every time you search somebody, the game will pause and bring up a big screen showing you what you found. If it's set to no, the game will continue to run without pausing and it will display what you found above your mini map, okay? So let's move on down. Um, let's see here. Let me look through here real quick, guys, because there's a, the, the I and I file on the Stop the Pet is pretty huge. This right here needs to be set to yes, guys. You Stop the Pet Advanced Flashlight instead of Vanilla LSPFR. Make sure that it's set to yes, okay? Um, and then let's go on down. Let's see here. Because I have not looked at the sign, this new I and I file yet. And again, it might be the exact same as the last one was. So uh, right here, ladies and gentlemen, where it says set, whether you want to turn the realistic weapon system on or off, change that yes to a no, and I will show you how to enable it in game. I'm going to go over all this stuff with you guys in the game, okay? Uh, so let's go on down here. And there should be a couple other things we got to change. Not much, but just a couple of other things here. This is Calm the Pad. I want to make sure I get everything for you guys, so just bear with me as I look through here. Uh, right here, guys, whether the self-prisoner transport is enabled, make sure self-transport enabled equals yes is set to yes, okay? That way, um, I think, yeah, so that way you can call for transport. Make sure that's set to yes. All right, let's go on down. Right here, guys, very important. Whether you want to use the nearest cop as the prisoner transport, make sure that it's set to yes. What this does is if you call in for a backup, you know, on a traffic stop or anywhere, and you have a pedestrian uh, handcuffed and ready to go to jail, when you call for transport, instead of a transport van coming in, the, the cop nearest to you will take the pad to jail, okay? Um, down here, ladies and gentlemen, very, very important right here. Uh, we want to set... Uh, let's see. Okay, so right here, guys, we want to set all these. The sirens light arrive, you want to set that to no. You don't want the siren blaring when it comes in, trust me. Now, right here where it says um, that makes the lights run. So just leave that at no, guys. That's all fine. Just leave that at no. That way they come in just code one or code two or whatever. Um, let's see here. Let's go on down. Uh, insurance. I want to make sure we got everything we need to get. Animal control. I think that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. So once you're done, all right, scroll back to the very top. And you want to click File and click Save. Close out. Now, one other important thing I need to cover with you guys before we start the game is we want to go back to our main game directory, okay? At this point, you should be, the last part of your pathway should say Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Or for Epic users, it'll say GTA 5. In here, you want to go to your LSPFR folder, and you want to go to um, LSPFR configuration setting right here, okay? Now, in here... This right here, ambient dot disable player flashlight override, make sure that is set to true because that disables the vanilla flashlight and allows you to enable the stop the pad flashlight. If this is set to false, your stop the pad flashlight will not work. Okay, so make sure that's set to false. Once you're done, click file and click save and then close out. Let's go back. You can now close out of your main game directory, and I'm going to take you guys in the game and show you exactly how this plugin works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so um, it is showtime. And there's a couple of different menus I want to go over with you guys uh, that concerns Stop the Pet. So one of those menus is if you hit your G key, G is in Gary, or G is in George, uh, it's going to bring up this menu right here. Now, when you're standing beside a pedestrian's vehicle, this menu will have more options in it, Okay. It'll have call for tow service, you see there, uh, you know, vehicle insurance, um, call for, for um, I think it's call for tow service, animal controls, things of that nature. And I'll show you what, what how that works once we get next to a pedestrian's vehicle. Um, and there's another menu that pulls up only when you approach a pedestrian. So let's get in the car. All right, but that menu there is the G key. G is in Gary. All right. And we are going to pull over this van right here. I'm going to get him pulled over. Let me make a U-turn here. And for those that want to know where to get this car at, I will link my live stream in the top right corner here. 
and that will take you to where I was actually driving this car during a live stream and in that live stream it tells you how to get this vehicle all right so we're gonna we're gonna light him up I know a majority of you are gonna love this car um, so we're gonna light him up I'm gonna show you how this stop the pet menu works uh, when you're pulling somebody over all right so we're gonna hop out and always be on your toes guys when you walk up to a vehicle because you never know when somebody's gonna have a gun so just always be ready all right now when you walk up to somebody's car just like this as you guys can see their traffic stop weapon spotted you know the suspect has a weapon in his vehicle that is part of stop the pad okay that will tell you that all right um, I believe it is anyway when you get next to the vehicle you can hit the E on your keyboard or right on your d-pad to pull up this menu right here now in this menu you can ask for all documents driver's license uh, you can ask for registration insurance you can question the driver which pulls up this menu right here you can question them with basic questions uh, violation uh, violations operation uh, violations document violations equipment okay so equipments like headlights tail lights that sort of thing uh, your documents is like registration license uh, you know that, that sort of thing uh, I think I said license registration and, and insurance as well uh, vehicle operation is like you know them running red lights you guys can see all the questions right here and you can ask them so for example we'll say that um, he didn't use a turn signal so I'm gonna ask him why didn't you use a turn signal he's gonna answer I'm too lazy to do it sir so uh, you can ask them, uh, have you been drinking? Have you done any drugs? Where are you coming from? Where are you headed? They'll answer the questions for you. Uh, and right here, you can give them a breathalyzer and a drug swab while they're sitting in the vehicle, or you can do it when they get out. Now, we're going to order him out of the vehicle. What we're going to do first is ask for all documents. So you're going to ask for license, registration, and proof of insurance. Hey, you. You got your and you can hit backspace to enter to exit out of that menu. And this will tell Thanks. you all his information right here, his date of birth. Uh, expiration date on his license, uh, his name, his plate, um, and if you have CompuLite installed, you can pull that up, and that will tell you everything about him, his address and all that. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and hit the E on the keyboard again, right on the D-pad, and if that happens to pop up for you guys, just just ignore that. There's You don't need to change that. I've never changed it a day in my life. We're going to order him out of the vehicle. Now, right here, you can let him go by dismissing him or let him go with the warning. However, we're gonna order him out of the vehicle. We're gonna give him out. Now, once he gets out, once he gets out of the vehicle, you're gonna hit E on the keyboard twice or right on the D-pad twice Wait up! to stop him, okay? And then you're gonna see that menu pop up right there and that will tell you how to operate it. And then when you pull this menu up, this will allow you to ask for identification, driver's license, hunting license, fishing license, ID card. You can request a check on him to dispatch like so. And to pull that menu back up, make sure you're pretty close to the pad and hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad. Uh, you can also grab the pad. You can have them follow you. You can have them sit down on the ground. You can, Again, you can question them here. Uh, it will have different types of questions here in this particular menu for you. So you'll have DUI questions, vehicle questions, narcotics, weapons, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, down here, you can pat them down. So you can ask if they got anything. going to poke you, stick you, jab you, prick you, stab you like that. And you can click that. And you can now search the pad. Now, when you see this pop up, the item is going to pop above your mini map, where we set the I9 file to no. We have it above the mini map here. So we found a firearm, a baggie of unmarked pills, flashlight, and a cell phone. Now, if we had that set to yes, it would have paused the game and popped up in the middle of your screen with a bit, with a with a big menu telling you everything you found. I think it's much better this way, so you can continue on with the game. Let's pull that menu back up which is E on the keyboard around the D-pad. You can go down, you can give them a field sobriety test, you do the horizontal gaze. Um, the horizontal gaze where you hold a pin in front of their eyes, they follow it with their eyes only. Uh, the walk and turn is where they walk 10 steps forward, pivot and come back and walk 10 steps. Uh, the one leg stand is where they hold one leg up and count one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, all the way to 10, 1,000 and they'll stop. And they will, the, the stop the pad menu will actually tell you, the stop the pad plug-in will actually tell you if they fell or passed the test, okay? Down here, you can give a breathalyzer, drug swab. You can uh, request escort vehicle, which is like a taxi, an Uber, an Uber ride, an ambulance. You know, um, you can dismiss the pet on foot or to the driver's seat or to the passenger seat, okay? Um, and then you can ob obviously detain them by clicking this right here, arrest the pet. You ain't never getting out of prison. All right, and then he's going to put him in cuffs. And I'm just showing you guys this just for example, okay? There's a couple of things I'm going to show you. So we're going to pull that menu back up. Anytime you're near a pad, just hit E on the keyboard or around the D-pad to pull up that stop the pad menu. You're going to be using this a lot, trust me. Now, let's just say if I want to search him without using the menu, right? Remember I told you guys about that hotkey in the I9 file, the F9 key? 
that's what that hotkey is for. The F9 key is your quick search button. So if he's standing here, I can hit the F9 key and it'll say pat down in progress, please wait. Even though we already searched him, I just wanna show you this. So I hit the F9 on my keyboard. All right, and that shows what we found. Now if you walk to the vehicle and hit F9 again, it will search the vehicle just like so, okay? There you go. All right, so he would be obviously going to jail with a bag of unmarked pills and a firearm. So, another thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to call for backup. Dispatch requesting code 2 backup. I'm going to be at 3008 Alhambra Drive, eastbound. Backup required. All right, then your backup's going to come in. Now, uh, that's through ultimate backup right there, all your backup. And if you have that installed, you're going to hold the backspace down to spawn them in. And that will spawn him a little closer, just like so, just the way you've seen. So he's going to pull up. Once he gets out, he'll turn his lights on and he'll walk up here. And you can now have a partner here, okay? Or not a partner, but a backup unit. You can make them your partner, but that's a whole other tutorial. All right? So they sent uh, hey. they sent Johnny out here, or Jimmy out here today. All right? And now, if you'll notice, when you pull that menu back up, it now says pat down by my buddy or myself. Now, if you click pat down by my buddy... Um, and I'm just going to show you because we've already searched, but I'm going to show you. If you click that, uh, your your backup unit will pat will in fact pat him down, okay? Just like so. Now your backup unit won't like you know it won't search the vehicle or nothing like that. He'll just search the pad. Uh, you can also command your backup to give him breathalyzer tests, swab, um, all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and command him to give this guy a breathalyzer test. And he's going to walk up. He's going to give him breathalyzer test just like so. Thank you kindly. All right. And that will show you right there what his result is, which he's clean. Remember, guys, the illegal limit is 0.08%. Anything over that is um, under the influence, okay? Uh, let's go down, and I'm going to have my um, my backup unit do a drug swap. This is going to test him for any kind of narcotics, methamphetamine, uh, marijuana, heroin, LSD, anything like that. It's going to test him for it, okay? And he's going to pull that. He's going to get I appreciate it. And then it'll show you right here. So he's positive for marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. Um, and then he's negative for methamphetamine and ecstasy. It does not test for LSD. That's mighty weird. Uh, so he's positive for three narcotics right there. Now, remember the stuff we found on him, the, the baggie of unmarked pills, I think it was? You're going to go to the back of your patrol car once you find something on somebody. Now, remember, do this before you have them transported because if you transport them out and then try to test the drugs, it's going to say you have nothing in your inventory, okay? So... Let's hit the, the G on the keyboard and you get the back of the car and go down to narcotics field test. If you hit the arrow over, it will also do a weapon seal check if you found a weapon, okay? So we're going to do a narcotics field test and hit enter. And this will tell you anything that you found. So we found the baggie of unmarked pills. We're going to click enter. And the ones that are not highlighted are ruled out, okay? That means that that is none of those. But the ones that are highlighted, you can test those. So I'm going to say the back of unmarked pills is probably fentanyl. We'll test for fentanyl and you just highlight it and then click enter and that will pull it right up for you. So it is not fentanyl. Let's test for, um, let's do, let's do PCP. Let's see if it's PCP. Now, sometimes it'll be one of them. Sometimes it won't be none of them. Now we get, we found it positive. It's positive for PCP right there. So you're going to click back. All right. So now you can charge him with possession of controlled substance, paraphernalia and uh, possession of BCP, okay? And you'd have to have CompuLife to do all that. So now we're gonna go back and I am going to have him transported. Now remember in the INI file, we set to have the nearest cop as transport to yes. Now that means when I call for transport, instead of a transport van coming in, this cop right here is gonna take the guy in for me. So I'm gonna hit, now you can do it two ways. You can hit E on the keyboard or around the D-pad and go down and request for transport there. Or you can hit the nine on top of your keyboard all right. In, uh, or you can do it through grammar police, whichever one you prefer, okay? Now, we're going to have his vehicle towed, okay? Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You're going to walk up the vehicle. You're going to hit G on the keyboard. And here, you're going to request vehicle check, search the vehicle, obtain a plate number, request tow service, call vehicle insurance. And there's a realistic weapon system. And I'm going to show you guys how that works here in just a minute. Uh, so, we want to request a tow vehicle. We're going to click on that and click. You can click either small tow truck, large, or flatbed. I always get the flatbed just to make sure it's big enough and that will send in a flatbed tow truck all right so now i'm gonna we're gonna pull up out of here and i'm gonna show you guys how the realistic weapon system works so we done got him hauled out of here 
We're gonna go to, sorry man. We're gonna go over here, somewhere out of sight and out of mind. And I'm gonna show you guys how the realistic weapon system works. So, let's stop right here. I'm gonna hop out. Now, if you hit the G on your keyboard, and make sure that you're standing still, because if you notice when I'm walking around, if I hit the G, it says that context menu only works when you are standing still, not moving, okay? So make sure you're standing still, hit the G, and we're gonna go down to enable realistic weapon system, and we're gonna hit enter, and that's gonna enable our realistic weapon system. Now, if you have any weapons through your simple trainer, as if you've watched a bunch of tutorials, then you'll, you'll probably have weapons saved in your, in your simple trainer. Anything you have saved in your simple trainer, and I'm gonna show you what I mean here, will automatically be deleted out of your weapon wheel, okay? So let me, let me, let me disable, um, let me disable that weapon system again. You guys keep it on. Now I'm gonna show you what I mean, for example. If I go to my weapons and load my weapons up, okay? And then I pull up my weapon wheel, you're gonna see all my weapons are currently in here, right? Everything. But if I go back into my stop the pen menu, and I enable my realistic weapon system, and you pull the weapon wheel up, all the weapons are gonna be gone, because in real life, a cop only carries a taser and a pistol on him, okay? Now, if you wanna get the, if you wanna get the nightstick and the, the night, I think it's the nightstick it doesn't come with. Um, if you wanna get the nightstick, make sure you load it through your simple trainer, okay? And if you don't have simple trainer, I will show you how to install it right here in the corner of the video, guys. Click that video, take it to show you how to install simple trainer, and I'll be doing an updated uh, tutorial on that as well. So, um, let's go back into, let's see. Okay, so we got an enable. So now you know you only have a pistol, a taser, and a flashlight, right? If you want the nightstick, I think it's the nightstick or the flashlight, you will enable that through your simple trainer by going to your simple trainer, go into weapons, and right down here, uh, you can enable the nightstick, and over here, you can enable the flashlight right there, okay? So, let's say, <clears throat> And with this, you're only gonna get a certain amount of ammo in your gun. Now, I have a lot of ammo because I have unlimited ammo enabled. All right, but if I turn mine off, let me turn mine, let me turn my unlimited ammo off. Just like so. And let me get rid of all my weapons and reload them. Remove all weapons. And then now see, I've only got, um, now if I go back into here and go to disable and then go back and enable then I will have I'll just have a pistol on me yeah it no longer has a taser so that's that's kind of weird so they changed that so again guys make sure you load your taser your flashlight and your nightstick through your simple trainer so I'm gonna go ahead and load my stuff up real quick so I have those weapons so I think those are very important weapons to have um, so now I'll have a taser and then I'll have a flashlight and a nightstick and a pistol so, let's say for example, all right, I'm gonna fire off a few shots here. All right. I got him, he's down. <laughs> I'm gonna dismiss that back up. All right, so let's say that you want to refill your ammo on your gun, right, and you wanna armor up. You're gonna go to the back of the car or you can go to the side of the car and do this both ways, okay? We're gonna go to the back of the car and we're gonna hit the G on our keyboard. And right there, you can grab the rifle, grab your shotgun, replenish your ammo and health and armor right there. All right, so he's gonna lift the trunk. And that if you don't have any armor, which I do, he's gonna replenish his armor as well as his, as his ammo, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to grab your rifle. If you hit the G on your keyboard, and again, you can do this on the side of your vehicle just like this. Hit G on your keyboard. And if you grab your rifle, he will open the door and he'll reach in and he'll grab his rifle. At the trunk, he'll open the trunk and reach in and grab it. And there's your rifle right there. It's got a scope and a flashlight modification that comes on it, okay? Now, if you want to grab the shotgun, you'll walk back up, hit G, and grab the shotgun, okay? And now he has a shotgun. He puts his rifle back and grabs his shotgun. So you cannot have your shotgun and your rifle at the same time. This also comes with a flashlight LSPD. modification, Don't but make me shoot of course ya. no scope because it's a shotgun. Now, if you want to put them back, you're going to walk up the car, hit G, and we are going to click store shotgun, and he will then put the shotgun back in the car. Same thing with the rifle. You can put the rifle back in there as well, okay? So if you need those weapons for any reason at all, you can walk to the side of your car, or you can walk to the rear of your car just like so, and I'm going to grab the rifle, okay? I'm going to grab. I'm going to show you guys how to work those traffic cones as well. There's a lot to go over with stuff the pit. So there's the rifle right there. 
He's got enabled. Uh, so now I'm going to put it back in the trunk. I'm going to hit G and hit store rifle. All right, he's going to lift the trunk, and he's going to put his rifle back in. Pretty cool, right, guys? So we're going to hit the G key again, and we are going to go down to grab. Now you're going to also grab a fire extinguisher. All right, and we're going to grab traffic cones, okay? And I'm going to show you how to set these. All right, so here is your traffic cones. Now, um, so it says deploy your traffic cones. Uh, use option on context menu. So you're going to walk out here. You're going to notice there's a little blue... Um, tag here in like a blue light right there right a blue marker so you're gonna wherever you want to put these at so we're gonna put one say like right here we're gonna hit the G key and we're gonna put deploy traffic cone okay now that menu will stay up for you sometimes but sometimes it will not uh, I'm gonna click on deploy traffic cone again and if it shuts off you just got it you just gotta hit the G key again and we're gonna put another one here and I probably didn't put them straight at all but that's okay and see how the menu went off so you're gonna hit G again and deploy the traffic cone all right and you now have traffic cones across the street now i can still put them okay they're all right now if you want to put the one in your hand away you're going to walk back to the trunk of your car or the side of your car they can do the side of your car too let me see no you cannot you can only do this at the back of the car so that's to be at the back of the car so you can walk to the back of the car hit g and you are going to store traffic cones all right and notice that your other ones will stay out there on the road all right, now I'm going to show you how to remove these. So that's, you can put as many traffic cones down as you want. There's no limit on it, okay? Is that a mountain lion coming up right there? I think it is. Okay, he took off. We're going to grab our rifle, rifle, rifle here just in case because there's a lot of coyotes and mountain lions out here. All right, let's put, we're going to put that away. Now you can hang on to it and it'll still be in your weapon wheel. See that? All right, so... Here's how you remove the traffic cones. We're going to walk over this. We're going to hit the G on the keyboard. Now, you can remove nearest cone only or all cones, okay? So we're going to move the nearest one only. Then I move that one. Now, if you click G again, you can click remove all cones. Click it and remove every single one of them. See that, guys? Pretty cool, right? Backup needed. And now, backup's short. only showing up for me because I have deadly weapons installed, which I'm, I'm going to take out. I'm going to take that mod out because it's Adam a little Ford, annoying. Copy. All right, so the next thing I need to show you is how to put someone in arrest mode and stop the pad. Um, and the way we're going to do this, y'all like the lights of this video, it's pretty dope, right? Like I said, guys, go check out that live stream and that will show you, uh, that will show you exactly how to get this vehicle. All right, so let's pull this guy over right here. We're going to pull him over. All right, so we're gonna pull this guy. I'm gonna show you guys how to get him out in arrest mode through stop the pad. Now, when you do this, to put someone in arrest mode through stop the pad, you are going to have to have your gun, in, have to have a gun of some type in your hand. Okay, you need some type of gun in your hand. Let me get him off the road here a little bit. So when I get out, all right. It doesn't matter what gun you got, but it's got to be a gun. It cannot be a nice sticker or a flashlight. It's got to be a gun. So I'm going to point my gun at him, and you are going to click E on the keyboard two times or right on the D-pad twice. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! You got to be a little closer. All right, so a couple. you got to hit it a few times. He's going to put his hands up again on his knees and lock his fingers behind his head. Just like so, and then you're going to walk up to him. Once you get close enough, it'll prompt you to open the menu in which you open it up and you can dismiss the pad on driver's seat to foot or you can arrest him. Now, if you have a partner next to you, it You're will ask you what you your partner is. It'll say, arrest by my buddy. All right, so now he's arrested. Again, E on the keyboard around the deep will pull up this menu and we're now going to grab him. All right, and then if I had a four door police car, I'd be able to put, I don't know if I can put him on the driver, on the passenger side or not. Yeah, I can't put him on the... I should have got a different car. But if you've got a regular patrol car, for example, if I call for backup, I'll show you. Dispatch requesting traffic stop backup. For example, if I have a backup unit um, and I cannot put him in my police car, I can actually put him in the police car of the, um, of the backup unit, okay? So let me get that backup in here. Let's spawn him in. And then once he gets here and gets out, we can then put him into the uh, back door, the back seat of the police car. So 
We're gonna walk him up here just like this. When you get close enough, you'll see a prompt pop up in the left-hand corner of your screen. And it's gonna say put in rear vehicle, uh, rear seat, front seat, or release him. Okay, we're gonna put him in the back seat. And this is just for, you know, role play purposes and safety purposes. You know, you put him in the back seat and let him sit there until you get everything figured out. All right, so he's now in the back seat. And again, if you wanna search the vehicle, you will walk up and you would hit F9 on the keyboard. And he's gonna search the vehicle automatically. Now there's another way you can do that too, and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so if you hit G on the keyboard while standing next to the vehicle, um, you can uh, you can search his vehicle by clicking search the vehicle right there, and he'll search the vehicle just like so, all right? I don't think there's anything else I need to show you on this part of the menu, guys. Let me see. So you can request a vehicle check like this, and that will give you a check Target on the plate right there. Plate. 61 George Six Nora Lincoln 676. Lincoln 676. Target is 104. All right, and that shows you everything on the vehicle there. So pretty cool stuff, guys. The, this plugin, I think, in my opinion, has always been and always will be a must-have mod. Um, it, it's just something that, that makes your game way more realistic, uh, way more fun to play, and it makes it way more immersive. I, I really dig this, this plugin. Um, so, we're gonna have the vehicle towed. Again, you can do this through your stop the pad menu by hitting G and going to request tow service and then getting whichever truck you prefer, okay? Flatbed. So we did find a weapon on him. Now, we're gonna call for transport for this guy, okay? So the way we're gonna do it is you got to be kinda close to him or you can actually not be close to him and just hit the nine on your keyboard. All right, Assistance and that cop up there will take him to jail. Uh, and he's already in the vehicle, so he'll go ahead and take him in. He's just going to get in the vehicle and drive off. And that's all there is to it, man. It's a pretty cool plug-in, guys. It's a must, must-have. This is probably going to be a pretty lengthy video um, because that, there's so much to stop the pad. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you guys. Oh, yeah, so when you are, you will now notice once you, once you have stopped the pad installed and you set all the key binds, especially on your controller or even on your keyboard, all right, that your pet, your character is going to run a lot faster. So if you start sprinting and hold down your sprint button and then you double tap that sprint button, you're going to notice he runs a lot faster. I promise you will never, ever lose a suspect on foot ever again after installing this plugin, okay? And I'm using my controller. I'm tapping my A button, but on keyboard, if you hold the W, hold shift, he will sprint. And if you double tap the enter key, he will run really fast just like that, okay? On your controller, you gotta tap the A button to make him run real fast, okay? But I think that is pretty much it for Stop the Pad, guys. Now, right here, uh, you can use Stop the Pad for um, slow down traffic and stop traffic. Now, if you wanna if you want to enable uh, disable the realistic weapon system and get your weapons back, you can go uh, hit the G on the keyboard and go down and click on Disable Realistic Weapon System, and that will disable it. Now, you will have to load your weapons back up through um, Simple Trainer if you have them set like that. I don't know if you do, but if you have them set like that, you have to load them back up. Once you disable the realistic weapon system, you'll have to uh, load them back up. All right, so um, so let's, let me show you guys how to tackle someone. So let's get someone into a foot pursuit. All right, so perfect, right there. We're gonna pull this guy over. And I'm also gonna show you how to point out a, a pad as a pursuit target. So what that means is if I get my gun out and I point at him and I tap T on the keyboard a few times or up on the D-pad a few times, it will initiate a pursuit. I'm gonna show you just like this. Look! Just like there. that. So you gotta, you gotta point your gun, make sure your gun is pointed at them. You tap T on the keyboard and right on the, uh, hey, up on the D-pad a few times. He just fell off, so he's probably gonna run and I'm gonna show you how to tackle him, okay? So, if you're running, you're going to tackle him by running up. You're going to hit X on the controller, just like that. And then you can stop him with stop the pad. You sorry piece of crap. All right. Just like that, you're going to point your gun at him, hit E on the keyboard a few times around the D-pad, and then you can stop him with stop the pad. On keyboard, um, I think backspace is what tackles the pedestrian. All right, and again, you'll walk up, it'll prompt you, and you can then arrest him. I want to make sure I'm showing you, you guys everything about this plugin. If there's anything I forgot, please let me know in the comments below, and uh, I will do my best to explain it to you in the comments, okay? Sometimes it's hard to explain things in the comments because it's too much to text, um, but I will try my best to do that. Um, I think that is pretty much it for Stop the Ped, ladies and gentlemen. 
Uh, now, when you're uh, when you have a hold of the suspect, if you want to release him, you can hit E on the keyboard or right on the D-pad. That will bring up this menu, and you can release him. Okay. Now, when he's cuffed, if you pull that menu back up, all right. Uh, you can release his handcuffs and let him go, or you can release his handcuffs and make him stay. Now, this 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 works really good when you're taking him to jail. So, for example, another thing I need to show you, too, is taking him to jail. So, we're going to release him, and I'm going to get a different car here real quick so we can have, like, a four-door vehicle. Uh, that way, um, we can actually haul him into jail. All right. So, let's go ahead and let's hop out. And that is part of the Blue Ghost Pack, guys. If you don't know how to install that, I will leave my link in the top right corner showing you how to install the Blue Ghost Pack. I need to do an updated video on that as well. All right, and you're going to walk up to him, hit E on the keyboard on the D-pad, and you're going to grab him. All right, and again, you're going to walk him to the back of the vehicle. You can put him on either side, whichever one you prefer. You can put him on either side, okay? It's up to you. All right, so we're going to put him on, actually, you know what? Let's put him, let's put him on this side. Try to put him on your passenger side back door. That way you can you can kind of see him uh, when you're driving. And you can look back and look at him. Kind of keep an eye on him, all right? So he's going to go in. I'm going to show you how to take him to, to jail through stop the pad. All right, we're going to go around. If I can ever get my guy around. And we're going to hop in the vehicle. And I'm going to take him to jail over here through stop the pad. Stop the pad has it now. Right there where it says press zero to toggle the route to, key or to, to the nearest jail, you can go like this and hit zero, and it will toggle a waypoint for you to where the nearest jail is, okay? So keep that in mind, it's your zero key on top of your keyboard. Watch out, man. Now, once you pull up the jail here, you'll notice a yellow circle, okay? You're gonna notice a yellow circle. Well, that's it right there. Now, when you pull in here, the game is gonna pause for just a second, okay? It's gonna go gray. And you can escort him by yourself, pass him to another cop, or cancel the suspect drop-off. All right, we are going to escort them by ourselves. If you pass it to another cop, it will go to a cut scene, and it'll show the cop coming out and getting the guy and taking him in, okay? If you click on escort the suspect by yourself, you will take him in by yourself, okay? All right, and then you can hit uh, left control T to quick grab like that, which I don't use because I have clipboard in. Or you can hit E on the keyboard, right on the D-pad, and you can grab him just like so. Left control T no, is quick grab. Now we're going to take him down, and we're going to put him into the nearest shot. I think this is it, guys. I think this is it for stop the pad. There's so much to stop the pad. There's even more to ultimate backup. There's even more to ultimate backup. All right, let's go in here. Now, remember what I said, guys, that uncuffing him and making him stay comes into, uh, comes into play right here? This is it. Let me close that jail cell. So you're going to hit E on the keyboard or around the D-pad. And you're going to release him. You're going to pull that menu back up. You're going to go down to release handcuffs and put it on stay. That way he stays in the jail cell, okay? Now, at this point, you can have, once he's uncuffed, you can have him have a seat on the ground, just like so. All right, he'll have a seat right in the jail cell. And then you can walk out here and go in here and talk to this guy and say something like, Dano, I got him in for uh, possession of weapon and, for example, resist him without violence. Take good care of him. All right, so you can just roll play it out, and he'll stay right there. He'll stay right there in that jail cell. And then to go back out, guys, you go out this way, and you'll go back to the yellow circle. And he'll automatically go right back out to his car. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I think that is pretty much it, guys and girls. I think that's it for Stop the Pet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, click the bell, and click all. So you know when I post new content when I go live. We do live stream uh, five days a week here on the Criminal Justice Channel. Starting this week, we're going to be doing it five days a week. Um, and we'll be, live, we'll be live streaming Far Cry 6 on Mondays and Tuesdays. LSP Far Night will be on Wednesdays. And Red Dead Redemption 2 with Mods Live will be on Thursdays and Fridays. With that said, everyone, have an amazing day. Put God first in your life, uh, guys. Always put God first. Anybody ever has any questions? about Christianity or questions about God or the Bible or anything, please feel free to message me if I, if, no matter what time of the day it is. If I am awake, I will talk with you about God and I will pray with you. I will pray with you. I don't mind praying with you guys. With that being said, everyone, have an amazing day. Put God first and I will see you all in the next video. God bless you guys. Take care.